loud or quiet. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to my new subbies. Oh my God, you have made the right decision. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have been watching a few YouTubers and they have been discussing the concept. It may or may not be new, but I've been hearing it quite often. So I wanted to address it. The concept of quiet luxury. And I use air quote because of the following reason. Before I actually get into it, the concept of quiet luxury makes me feel like if I don't know, then I'm, wow, I'm excluded from the inner circle of fashion people, of the upper fashionistas and the stylish people. If I don't know what the brand is, then Oh my God, have you been living on the uh, fashion rock or a sustainable rock somewhere that you don't know if you don't know that you know if you know? <laughs> oh my God. Guys, first and foremost, the concept of if you know, you know, it's almost like that ms game that they play that okay if you want me that badly you have to go buy this buy that put get get a record with the company to show that you are a valued customer and of course get yourself an essay it's like so many youtubers these days just love to know Oh, I went to see my essay and he or she was very helpful. And oh my God, I feel so special. I feel so loved. And yeah, I am it. I am so it. I've made it. I've gotten myself an MS. This is in no way, shape or form to make others feel that they shouldn't appreciate what they worked hard for and continues to work hard for but at the same time you should not make others feel like if they don't have a certain bag or the it bag of the moment because one's it bag may not necessarily be somebody else's it bag you should not guilt your subscribers or your followers into buying these items or make them feel that they are not fashionable or stylish if they don't have certain items. So I'm going to show you what I have. We're going to play a little game. I am going to show you some of the pieces I have in my wardrobe and I don't actually care for one over the other. Based on what you have been hearing, because I'm sure that some of these, some of you are looking at the very top tier YouTube creators out there and they are telling you what to buy and I am sure that you're being influenced. So let me know what you think is the definition of if you know, you know, or quiet luxury. First up, is this quiet luxury? I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f 
hours it takes to get some power don't be f***ing sour take a cold shower scream until you're louder work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters they're just your downers i swear to god they all let me down i always fought just to wear the crown i'm f***ed off at these f***ing clowns who were all taught they deserve an ounce it's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown belt it is Prada absolutely love it but you would note that in most of my videos I have been gravitating towards this piece and guess what I got this piece from a fast fashion brand and I'm not even gonna mention it but because of the fact that it's wide and of course it's leather i made sure that i know the material i know that i would be using this so much whereas this maybe i'm not into i don't know let's just say i love what i love so i wear what i love the most despite the fact that this is Prada. And yes, I do love it, but I gravitate to this more. And I am the first to tell you, get your cost per wear out of your items. But I always seem to be gravitating towards these more For your dreams, but it's not what than my actual supposedly brand luxury items. You, you, you love what you love. The same could be said for this piece. Bottega brought out its gold bag and everyone, oh, it, it's still all over social media, like everywhere you go. I am bombarded with this bag that I see nothing crazy about it, to be honest this bag is so well made and this is a piece by steve madden i bought this over it's almost vintage by now in the early 20s i bought this maybe 2006 or prior to that even and i still love this bag up to this day up to this day i love this bag and it didn't even make me want to look at the bottega one so sometimes even if you could afford something you don't have to feel pressure to go buy it because your favorite youtuber has it guys buy what you need for me when i bought this piece i had no idea that it was at least at that level of lux luxury. I had, I, and I don't care. I just love this piece. It's a beautiful, beautiful slide. And I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it, but it's definitely not a great purchase for somebody with thicker feet. Mines are flat and skinny, so it works, thankfully. But I fell in love with this, not knowing what brand it was. It's only when I inquired from the seller that she told me, well, it's a very high-end or premium brand. I'm like, what? Okay. See? Had no idea. Buy what you love don't be pressured by brand also i have all these other supposedly lux items in my closet 
And yes, I'm not saying I don't love them. I love these two bags. And I'm sure, as they say, if you know, you know. Yes. <sighs> and I'm sure you know what these bags are. If you don't know, honestly, it doesn't matter. But they are luxury bags. And I love them. But at the same time, I love this bag equally. And this is a vintage piece that my sister-in-law gave to me. And this, I saved this because she was going to upcycle it. But I love the bag so much. Absolutely love it. It's, it's vintage. It's also one of those bags that you wear it like this. And I've done a whole video of this bag you could warm your hand into this it's it's the style of the 15th 16th century and guys i absolutely love this because of the story behind it and the versatility of it and the fact that it it works as a bag and as a warmer for your hand so you could wear it like this And I freaking love that. Now, these are things that excite me. And it has nothing to do with class or luxury. But for me, this is luxury. So we need to redefine what luxury is. What luxury is for some people may not be the same for you. So I urge you to reconsider what the definition of luxury is for you. Buy what you love. It's one of the reasons why I often people tell people to buy what you love. Buy what you love. Absolutely. You know? So whether it's quiet luxury or loud luxury, because this is the loudest piece I see in my collection of luxury items. And honestly, I don't even consider these as luxury. They are just pieces that I like. They just happen to have certain brand names on them and with some of the quality I like. But don't be fooled. Not all of these brand names have very good quality products. In fact, it has been shown that over the years, the quality of these products have declined tremendously. That's why I often propose and advocate buying second hand they are amazing amazing but whether you consider your items loud or quiet it's your taste if you love loud buy loud if you don't care about who knows buy what you love that's all i'm gonna say the concept of quiet luxury, it could make one feel like they're an outsider, that they don't have any class, that they are not stylish. Do not, do not succumb to that narrative or that pressure. It's just another way of getting you, persuading you to spend money that you don't have. And I see so, some of the people that, that I follow falling into that very trap and they have somewhat deviated from their true origin of what they were proposing to us. And they have deviated so far, it's sad. But at the same time, I could see why they are so driven. Money is a powerful force it's also a very destructive one it makes you get so greedy and it makes you often lose sight of your true self oftentimes we forget who we truly are because of our greed and our drive for money it's like you could never have enough and so 
that's why I am proposing that you look within yourself, know what you really want, and you save for that item. And you could use that item over and over again. Pair it with whatever you have in your closet. Or even if you have to buy new or second hand, pay attention to the fabric. Look for sturdy materials that would last you forever. And most importantly, look for natural materials because they often have longevity. I hope you find this useful. I hope that you don't feel too pressured by the fashion industry, regardless of whether it's from the sustainable side, you don't need to over consume. And so, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.